Hey guys, the Tell Taco here, and I don't know why am I recording my voice at 1 a.m. And yes, you read the title correctly. This is going to be an unfinished project of 2017. I never got around to finish it since then until I decided to rework on it. What is wrong with me? But otherwise, enjoy the video. Hey guys, the Tell Taco here, and welcome back to another video. And I just got back from Kuala Lumpur for like a day or so sad life and yeah i just got these two free laptops for a day holy crap i'm so lucky so yeah i got the lenovo netbook right there and a macbook oh no <laughs> so yeah let's get right to these two Oh yeah, which one should I go first? Okay, Lenovo Netbook first. Let's move that aside. And here is a MacBook Air, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> this right here is the Lenovo IdeaPad S10-2. Right there, S10-2. But yeah, this is like the um, predecessor to the my existing one, the Lenovo IdeaPad S10-3. S10 3, this one's S10 2. Yep, but the S10 2, it had a power button on the palm rest, but on the S10 3, there is a power button on the screen bezel. <laughs> it's a funny placement for the power button, at least for me on this Lenovo netbook. Uh, this was given to me for free just because there is something wrong there. Yup, you guessed it, the screen is cracked. I think someone dropped it or something like that. I have no freaking clue what's going on there. Some stuff are yellowed, especially the keyboard, the uh, top thing and the uh, screen bezel. They left this, this sticker right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off. So I'm gonna shut it right now. Mint. Not really mint, but that's the only white left there. <laughs> Looking at the keyboard, check this out. Oh, uh, and yeah, that's my tablet. The caps lock and the shift button looks melted. Holy crap! The keyboard seems fine at least. I can type things just fine. That's a good start. And check out the uh. Wonderful art on this lid. Holy shit, that's so pretty. Alright, the condition of this thing is pretty bad at least. Look at the uh, hinge there. The hinge are exposed right now. <laughs> and this one too. And the uh, vent right there is... The grills are snapped. Oh no. <laughs> so this is how this netbook's supposed to look like with the mint condition. And... This is how the hinge is supposed to look like. Right there. It looks different. <laughs> Lol. Let's check out the ports right there. On the left hand side we have the Ethernet port, the vent, the VGA port, a USB 2.0 port, and two audio jacks. On the back, nothing except with the battery. On the right hand side we have the AC power port, can see to lock two USB 2.0 ports and of course a wireless switch. On the front, there's a uh, indicator light. And yeah, on the bottom, we have the Windows XP COA, I believe. They're all wearing out. <laughs> the paint is all chipped and now they're, they're just silver cover. Lol. <laughs> On the front, we have a 10.1 inch 1024 by 600. And on the top, of course, we have a webcam there. On the palm rest, we have the keyboard with, with caps lock and shift button melting down. <laughs> and we have a power button, the uh, not sure what button is this, and the Lenovo quick start button. Oh god, I gotta move the camera there real quick. Give me a sec. And we have a built in microphone right there. Lenovo quick start button there. And we have a couple of LED indicators. We have a hard drive LED, caps lock, and the num lock indicator. There's a touchpad with 
Chrome buttons there instead of integrated buttons on the Lenovo IdeaPad S10 3D. They're both clicky, I gotta, I gotta say. We have an Intel Atom sticker, Dolby sticker, and yeah, design for Windows XP sticker. <sighs> Windows XP is already outdated as of 2014, I believe. So yeah, time to test this thing up. Alright, got the netbook hooked up to my Asus laptop charger. So I'm surprised that the Asus laptop charger, aka my charger, still works on, works on this thing. My Lenovo netbook had the, uh, had the same plug as my Asus laptop had, but <laughs> it sadly loose a lot. <laughs> I feel bad. So, yeah. My Asus laptop charger works on this thing and my Lenovo netbook. Let's try to turn it on. Let's get the BIOS, first of all. Um. It doesn't like the display on my external monitor for some reason. And I don't know what specs of this thing because... Crack screen. Ripperino. Right. Ah. Something's wrong with the screen there. And that's why it's supposed to display on the uh. Dicks on the monitor there. Oh my god. Next computer. Wow, I haven't owned an Apple device before. And. Now I do, so this is the MacBook Air from mid-2009, I believe. I never owned an Apple device before until someone someone gave this to me for free alongside that Lenovo netbook. Not the S S10 3 down there, but on the but the S10 2. The problem with this thing, it had a bad RAM. My dad's friend said that it's all blackout. And I discovered that the RAM was bad, and the RAM was soldered, <laughs> which sucks. All right, let's have a look at the ports. First of all, we have a MagSafe port. The MagSafe port used to be on all the Macs, but now they're gone in 2015 Mac and 2016 MacBook Pro. <laughs> what a joke! On the front, there's nothing except with the this little thing there, I'm not sure about that. This thing is, and on the right hand side we have a flap there, which includes the mini display port, a uh, USB port, and of course a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On the back, nothing except with the hinge. On the lid we have an Apple logo, of course. And yeah, on the bottom, huh, nothing special there. On the front we have a 13.3 inch 1280 by 800 screen. And on the top, of course, we have a uh, webcam. Oh god, it's out of focus. God damn it, phone, focus. We have a webcam and stereo microphones. And of course, we have a Apple keyboard. Typical, typical Apple keyboard. Apple decided to use butterfly switch keyboard on 2015 MacBook and up and 2016 MacBook Pro and new. And of course, we have a uh, Massive trackpad, how cool is that? And we have integrated buttons, of course. We have a power button on there for some reason. There is the eject button on the keyboard, even though that MacBook Air doesn't have an optical drive. Apple, why? <laughs> All right, MagSafe charger plugged in. Oh God, why is that out of focus? What the hell, man? Okay. So I'm gonna try turn it on. Listen. Oh, shut this up. One beep every five seconds. What that means is that it had a uh, faulty RAM. So yeah, guess. That's about it. So, after some troubleshooting with the MacBook Air, the RAM was indeed faulty, which was the reason why it makes a single long beep if I turn it on. 
I try to use hair dryer to reflow the solder ramp and it boots if I leave it cool down for a while. Of course, this is not going to be a permanent fix. I don't recommend you do this every time your MacBook wouldn't post. After it's still not posting after some hair dryer stuff, a couple times, I decided to give up with the fix. The Lenovo netbook on the other hand is working but since the screen is smashed, you have to plug it into your external display and call it a usable desktop machine. One of a machine work and other doesn't. So yeah, that's a shame that MacBook doesn't work. But anyways, that's all for two free laptops video that I never got around to finish it two years ago. Thanks for watching this beloved old project. And my god, I think 1am voice recording failed me. <laughs> but otherwise, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out new videos. That's all folks, and catch y'all later. The Tell Taku signing out. Yeah.